We are live. This is Fire Black Press is coming to you with the one and only Sean Stockman, a member of Boys to Men dating back to the immensely successful group's 1991 debut. Sean has written and produced material for contemporaries and has occasionally recorded as a soul artist. In fact, he's he's got some stuff today as a soul, soul artist. He has um, an album, a new album that follows up the 2018 album, Sean. The smooth voice Stockman started performing as a youngster with the Philadelphia Boys Choir in Corral. Or, or Coral. Man, <laughs> and, a, <there> you go. <laughs> and a few years later, connected with his long-term Boys to Men partners while attending the Philadelphia High School for Creative and Performing Arts. There's so many hits, so many accolades, but we got the man himself. Sean Stockman, welcome to Black Press Live. Stace, what's happening? How you doing? Hey, it's good, good to see you. Um, you got some new stuff uh, coming out. Uh, we are uh, excited to hear about it. But, uh, you know, we have to talk a little bit about the whole group for a moment. Sure. Uh, tell us a little bit about, I mean, we, we, we said it just now, how, it's, how it began. But how did it really begin, Sean? Uh, it began in high school um, back in the 1980s where uh, Nathan Mars had the ambition to uh, join or rather put together a singing group. And um, he, in a, to make a long story short, he recruited the guys that the world know, knows as boys to men. And uh, we, around the time that we all assembled, we met Michael Bivens, I think six months uh, after that. And uh, we sang for him at a show in Philadelphia um, big radio show in Philly. And uh, Michael was fortunately impressed. And uh, he signed us to uh, Motown Records. And I guess you could say the rest was his story. <laughs> and you guys must have been really close, though, because you spent so, yeah, obviously, you spent a lot of time together. And obviously, you still do. Mm -hmm. um, how important is that to have that type of camaraderie as you're performing as a group? It's extremely important. It's, um, it's it's like a marriage, man. You gotta know how to keep keep uh, the relationship going and, and and making sure that it still stays exciting and fun. And, uh, we do have help though, like our fans, <laughs> our supporters, and people who show interest in what we do. Still, um, that's always helpful in our wanting to still go out and perform and sing for people. Yeah, and and you. Not only have obviously you guys have sold out arenas, stadiums everywhere around the world, um, but you've also performed with or on the same bill as other great acts. How how is how does that um, when you are going to perform and there's someone else on that bill? How does that affect your performance? Do you feel like you got to take it to another level? I mean, you you've been around all the greats. Yeah, and um. Because of that, you tend to have just a, a natural desire to want to, you know, to, to go out there and kill it. You know, that, that's 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 what we do it for. The whole point is to go on stage and, and to give people a show. And uh, we've been around a lot of fortunately uh, uh, around a lot of people who pride themselves themselves of, of being great showmen. So you you. You know, it's like it permeates on you, and, and that's that's what you become. You become a person that just doesn't want to go on stage and just just dilly dally on stage. You no, know, you go out there and you do your thing. Yeah, you know, and and that that's what we were taught, and that's what we continue to try and do. Yeah, and you know, you uh, Sean and 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 your group, Boys to Men. People people see you. They they you know they kind of lose it a little bit. Um, they get excited. But is there anybody Sean Stockman kind of becomes the fan when he's around? Oh man, uh, let's see. I, uh, I, 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 we did a show like a like seven months ago with the Wu Tang Clan, and uh, <laughs> we performed before them. And and I'm I'm a big Wu Tang fan, so like that's one example. Like I like current that that yeah. I actually went to see and I was like, man, that, that, that was dope. Like, and um, 
Yeah, but uh, come to let me think about it. Uh, you know, <laughs> those, those those are some guys. Um, you know, a lot of my my heroes, I hate to say, are, are all gone. Mm. People that I was excited, to, you know, to to see, and in some cases, uh, we're fortunate enough to to tour with some of them. Like from Luther Vandross, we toured with him back in like I think '98 or uh, 2001, something like that. Mm. Um, and I remember going after we performed because obviously we were open for him, and uh, I would just watch him almost every night, just yeah. because. I, I, and I've never heard this man crack, stammer, stutter. His voice was always exactly the same beautiful tone that Luther's known for. So, yeah. so guys like that, you know, I, you know, Luther and Prince and MJ, and Whitney and Aretha, and, you know, all all, yeah. all the people who, who I, I was fortunate enough to either work with or see perform like right before my eyes. That's that's special, and I, I you know, it's. That's that's just the school that I've I've I come up you know I've come up in and, and you know, yeah yeah so and, yeah and you mentioned Luther right and and um, one of the, the greatest voices you have here of course he didn't he didn't win a Grammy until he died unfortunately right Crazy. it was um, uh, songs for my father mm -hmm. um, yes my father. Yeah. And and how important when you think about that? How important or not important are these awards? Um, they're important. I mean, you know, I, I you know they're important because there's there's a level of acknowledgement that all us artists uh, look for. Um, anyone that tells you, oh, I just do it for art, I, I don't know how sincere that is because we're in the business of commercial art. Uh, we sing songs and we put them out for people to enjoy them and to like them. And one of those acknowledgements of a job well done is an award. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, awards are, but but it's kind of, it's one of those double-edged swords, right? You don't want it to be all about the awards, you know, like it, it, it should have, it should be about creating uh, what you need to feel good about yourself. That's what yeah. music is to me and to my guys and to most people who do it. It's, it's our form of therapy, you know, and, and to get out the perfect sentiment is almost more important than winning an award because regardless if you win one or not, if you know what you said was poignant and it's something that you know that's something you felt yep. when you listen to it as 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 a fan of yourself and, and wanting to uh, express yourself the only way you know how and you hit the mark, sometimes that's reward enough. Enough. Yeah. Yeah, you mentioned MJ Michael Jackson. It's it's interesting. We talk about awards, right? We know he won a boatload, but what people don't know, and as great as they were and are still, the Jacksons never won a Grammy Award. And I don't think they, either, I also don't think they won an American Music Award either, but we know that their music is timeless. Yeah, yeah. Um, we can go down that rabbit hole all day. I mean, <laughs> that, that's, that's something, that there, there's a lot of things that, as as you know, and, and have, we, we've all noticed that is yeah. uh, kind of off with uh, the culture of this country, so we'll 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 just leave it there. <laughs> and, and, and because, because guess what, the Jacksons are still the Jacksons. Yeah, absolutely. And and boys, the men is still boys, the men. And speaking of awards, Sean, um, and you're watching Black Press Live. Um, this is the 193rd anniversary of the Black Press of America in the 80th year. Yeah, absolutely. Of the National Newspaper Publishers Association, the trade organization that um, represents the Black Press. And this week is the convention. And tonight at 7 p.m. at www.virtualnnpa2020.com is a major award ceremony, the Black Press Award Ceremony. You don't want to miss it. Mary Wilson will be there. There's a, a special uh, presentation to Ziggy Marley. Ziggy. Uh, Ice Cube um, is receiving the Artist of the Century Award tonight. You yeah. got to check that out as well. 
uh, the Temptations are uh, doing a very, very special performance exclusively Beautiful. for the Black press. Beautiful. It's going to be great. Seven o'clock tonight. Um, Sean, yeah. speaking of, too, um, we're talking about music, of course, because we got the great Sean Stockman. Sean, you have a new album, new music out. Uh, can you tell us, tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah. The album's uh, called uh, Simply Sean, small s. And um, <laughs> it, it is my, well, actually the album's called Forward. My, my uh, EP was called Sean. My, full, uh, my album's called Forward. And the reason why I called it that is, is mainly because it is just an introduction to uh, what I hope uh, will be something that I do for years to come, which is release uh, songs and, and uh, music on my own. Um, has nothing to do with any ill will <laughs> with my, my group members or anything like that. So just to yeah. kind of clear that air, um, <laughs> you know, this, this is just me being an artist and being creative. And I'm certain you'll, you'll hear um, solo efforts from, you know, my guys as well, you know, in the future, but um, this is just me kind of having fun and, yeah. and just uh, given the opportunity to create and express myself individually uh, is what is, and I took it. And that, that's pretty much what it is. And I hope to do more of it. So for all of you who are watching, um, Sean is letting you know, do not start any rumors. Uh, <laughs> boys the Men is still Boys the Men, and you will still be hearing from them, and you will still be seeing them. Yes. And Sean, um, can you uh, actually give us a little taste? Uh, later, we got a video, a brand new video from Sean we're going to show you. But can you give us a little taste, uh, Sean, of what to expect from this album? Yeah, yeah. You know what? Let me, um, let me, let me, let me, let me do something here. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I wasn't expecting to sing. So, <laughs> so guys, if we if, put Sean on the spot, y'all, and uh, he's gracious enough just to say, you know what? With, without it, even preparation, I, I'll do a little something. Yeah, I'll do we a little. Something. So this, this is something I'll do on the on, on the album. We'll, we'll do this. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't want to be without my baby. The world's too damn crazy to be without my baby. Now. I don't even care about the weather. As long as you and me together, all I need is my baby, baby love. Cause our bodies are hateful, and our bed is so stable, baby, we yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, no matter what they do, I don't care. They say, girl, I just want to love you in so many ways Cause we in, yeah, we yeah, we yeah. And all she says is sha-la-la, sha-la-la, sha-la-la My baby says sha-la-la, sha-la-la, sha-la-la Oh, the world is so cold, people do so much harm Only want to be feeling is in each other's arms We yeah. oh, yeah. No matter the place, no matter where we lay Our vacation is wherever we're able to stay Cause we yeah. Oh, we yeah. And all she says is sha-na-na, sha-na-na, sha-na-na. My baby say it, sha-na-na, sha-na-na, sha-na-na. And all she says is sha-na-na, sha-na-na, sha-na-na. All she says is sha-na-na, sha-na-na, sha-na-na. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 
And all she say is sha na na oh oh And all she say is sha na na sha na na sha na na And all she say baby my baby love my baby loves me Oh, it's all right. I can keep going, but you know. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so that's you it. know, I, I was getting prepared for the verses, and then something happened with my uh, throat here. So you oh, gotta... okay. Well, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. All right. We'll you forgive me for that. Drink some water by before the end. Of, you know, show ends. Well, you know, you can hit a couple. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh we that's that's so awesome. Um what inspires you, Sean, when you're making your music? Or who inspires you? Um life, people, experiences, uh bad moments, uh good moments, um, and everything in between. Um yeah. the difference between artists and maybe other people is that we have an actual outlet that if we're angry or if we're happy or if we're in love or if we feel a certain type of anxiety or whatever, duress, whatever, we're able to write it down and sing it. That's yeah. again, as I mentioned earlier, music is, is therapeutic. And don't let anybody fool you. Like artists who go on stage and sing and really love what they do, you can tell that they are releasing some level of emotion that can only be uh, allowed to be expressed in public that way. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's therapy. And, and that, that, that's what, and it's one of the reasons why doing solo work is good for me because it's, it's not just, Oh, I'm gonna sell some records and you know, go platinum and you know, make whatever. I, right. this, this may never go platinum, but it's not what I did it for. This is about, me being able to to get out of my mind sometimes because we all sometimes live in our heads. So, you know, songwriting and singing and performing and, and getting that type of energy out is healthy. So actually, if I'm hearing you right, um, Sean, doing a solo project is really a very unselfish thing. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. That, that's very true. That's that. Yeah, it's it's. To sum it up, it's a very unselfish thing because it's it's more about not just doing anything that's self-indulgent, but again, it's a connection. When when you sing something and you see how it reacts to other people, that's a connection. And yeah. again, that helps. That that yeah. helps both parties, you know, the, the audience and the singer. When you're allowed to sing something and people are, are uh, engulfed in what it is you're trying, you're expressing, that means that they relate in some sort of way. And yeah. that, that's the cool thing about uh, being an artist. You can connect in that way. Yeah, and, and Sean, your music isn't just something people listen to. For millions of people all over the world, the music of boys to men is a large part of the soundtrack of their lives. How, how does it feel when someone tells you that their song, that your song, was played at their wedding or got them out of a bad situation. Again, that's what it's about. That's what it's because there are songs that's done the same for me. So it's almost like paying it forward. It's like when you I, when I get into my 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 bag of emotions and and depending on the day and depending on what's going on during that day, like I, I put on some music and it's amazing what music does for your soul. That, that's that's what music is. It's it's spiritual. It's it, it has a a, a, a moving uh, element and capability, unlike anything else. Like you can be anywhere and play music, or you can hear a song being played, and it instantly, you know, grabs you emotionally, depending on the the, the song. So, yeah, man, that's that's what that's why we do it, man. <laughs> that's, that's what it's all about. So, is there someone that you or or, or the group? Um, haven't worked with that you would like to work with? Uh, again, most of them are all gone. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I remember uh, we were backstage at the Grammys and we were with Whitney. And, uh, you know, that's Auntie Whitney to everybody. <laughs> so 
she gives us a big old hug and kiss and everything. And I think it was around the time, like it was years later, but you know, we did a song with Mariah uh, years ago. And you can kind of tell her tone was like, well, when are, she said, when are we gonna do a song? <laughs> and we were like, shoot, with me whatever you want. Like, you know, <laughs> let, let us know when, you know, and, and we'll we'll go in and we'll do it. Unfortunately, we didn't. Yeah. But um that was a that was the last time I actually saw Whitney. I think the year mm. that year after is when she passed away. So wow. like, it was one of those things where it was like, yeah, like it's it's those moments where you just feel like, oh <laughs> you know, like, if we just could have did it, it would have been something special. But on the other side of that, though, is those moments that we were just talking about now about inspiration, we, you know, and what you sing about. Uh, I could only imagine um, the type of words you'd put together if you were doing a song about, say, a Whitney Houston or a Michael Jackson. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, and, and you know what? That might be forthcoming. Right. You know, they, those those. But but again, you got to be it's got to be in, inspiring. It has to be something that hits you and you capture it. You capture the moment and you do it at that moment. Those types of songs, at least those that are, are, are the most meaningful, the ones that you don't really think about, it just happens and it just comes to, to, to fruition somehow. And at the end of it, it's done. You know? Yeah. Well, obviously one of, if not uh, Boys the Men's signature songs is End of the Road, right? Mm -hmm. um, what is it like performing that song? Because the fans, I'm sure when, when the concert goes on, the fans are clamoring to hear that song. Yeah. Um, everyone has their signature song that, that the fans seem to get into more than others. And you, the yeah. artist, seem to get into more than others. Can, can you tell us if that's the song, End of the Road, or is it another song? Um, well, for me personally or for fans? For the fans. I mean, you know, I, I, our fans are dope because... Um, you know, they they're uh they like them all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it isn't too many. So I mean, I'm sure if you ask one of you know a few of our fans what their favorites are, they might have them. But they ride with us throughout the whole show, which makes our show great. It's not us. It's it's really when a song is played, the 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 folks get into it, and that's what makes our job a lot easier. It's like when when people are really just just into you and, and into what what you do that that's that's what makes um <clears throat> what we do that much just sweeter you ever do a song sean that that uh you felt like oh man this is i, I don't really like this and then it became a big hit um yeah it was uh it was in the still of the night like we did oh, okay. it that and mind you that's a platinum single and it, and it went in the top 10 pop and we didn't want to do it. It, 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 was, like, it was like, we were on vacation, we, we were on tour and we had to sing it for like a, um, a mini series, a Jackson mini series. Oh yes. And, and uh, we wanted to, we wanted to chill. We didn't want to sing, it was our day, only day off. Like we were going on a rigorous tour and you know, we didn't want to go in the studio. so. We sang. We sang the the, the word the, the the harmonies real just nonchalant. Shoo up, shoo up, shoo up, shoo up, right? And we flipped the coin to see who would sing the lead, and Nate won. So when he <laughs> when he when he had to sing the lead, the th the three of us left. <laughs> <laughs> we was like, "Have fun, Nate." And um, but that was a successful song, and and we're thankful for that. You know, yeah. now but it was like. At the at the time, we didn't want to sing that damn thing. We like, man, it was, it was our day off, man. We want we wanted to relax, you know. Yeah, yeah. We are um, privileged to have Sh Sean Stockman of Boys the Men with us. Sean has a new solo project, uh, which we've already we just heard a great great uh, part of it, um, or at least one of the the great parts of it, anyway. And as mentioned, this is the 193rd anniversary of the Black Press of America. Our uh, chair, Sean, our national chairperson, Karen Carter Richards, who's the publisher of the Houston Forward Times, is watching. She's hey. obviously giving you a thumbs up. Uh, any message you want to send out as an anniversary shout out to Karen Carter Richards in the Black Press? Congratulations, Karen. And, and congratulations, all, all of you guys who, who held us down. You know, for all of these years, we truly, truly appreciate it. And um, 
may there be another thousand more years, you know, of you guys doing what you do. And, um, you know, again, people like us who need to be in touch with our folks, with our people, to let them know, you know, what we got going on. Uh, it's important that, you know, we, we, we have people, you know, like Black Press USA to, to, to be able to make sure that we do that. So thank you very much. Karen, thank you. Hope you're enjoying this, this interview. You know, Stasis, is, he's doing his thing. <laughs> Sean, yeah. I'm not saying it. Don't don't say I'm not saying it. Oh, you're not? I thought you. No, I, I don't. Don't try to butter it up. I'm oh, not. So you changed your mind. Well, I told you I got they got this throat thing. Oh, your throat, right? Right. Yeah. That's Come right. on now. Throat thing. Right. <laughs> yeah. Sean, what, what was it like the first time you heard one of your songs on the radio? Uh, I I, I can tell you specifically. Uh, it was Nate and I. We were on a double date at a bowling alley. Oh man, a double date. A double date with some nice young ladies. And um, we, we uh, after the date, we got into the car, we turned on the radio and WDAS was playing Motown Philly. Wow. And we were freaking out. <laughs> and the girls probably were wondering like, yo, these dudes are out of their mind. But you know, it, it, was, it was great though. Like they, they were happy, I think. Or, or I don't know. I don't know. Did, did they ever call us again? I think they did. <laughs> but um, but yeah, it was it was dope. It was dope. We were all we, Nate and I were in the car, and, and when we heard Motown Philly, it was like the best day ever. So it was a surprise. Then you didn't expect to hear it. No. Wow. No. We, you know, we just happened to be in the in the car at the right time, and bam, it was on. It was like that's us. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So shout oh. out to every day, yes, man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, look, I'm I'm sure that they are uh, privileged to know that they kicked off one of the, the the greatest careers in music history. Yeah, yeah. Philly Philly radio stations too. Power ninety nine, DAS. Like they they all showed love. Q one hundred two. Like yeah. those guys were were behind us every step and always supported us and always made it an event when we did something and and always kept. Uh, our city abreast of, of our movement. So, you know, I, I can't thank Philadelphia, you know, my city enough for being, you know, just the whole city to me is just one big neighborhood of just down home folk that, yeah. you know, when I walk down the street, even today, like I walk down the street by myself, no issues or whatever, but, you know, people come up to you, they dap you, they give you a hug or whatever. And you keep them moving and, and they just respect you and they respect your space, but they also respect what you've done, and yeah. which is great about my city. So that's why I love Philly so much. Yeah. And in addition to to the young ladies in the car, did you decide when you do you guys call your friends and family and say, I'm on the radio, I'm on the yeah, radio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't. Did we have cell phones back then? See, this is <laughs> I don't think I had a cell phone. I, I, I didn't have a phone at that time. So I had to wait till I got home. Like, okay. you know, did you, know, you have a pager? Was the pager blowing up? I did have a pager. I did okay. have a pager, and, and and the pager blew up. So you know, you, you remember back in the day, you got a pager, yep. you find like an actual pay phone to go call somebody. Yep. Like, yep. That's how old I am. Whereas I, you know, <laughs> I had to do those things, but um, but yeah, the pager was blowing up. You know, my little local pager that I had. So yeah, but it was good though, man. Like yeah, we we uh, those those moments I, I even now like I think about even more. And, and uh, I'm really grateful. I'm really grateful for just what has transpired in, in my life. And, and at this point, everything else is a bonus. So I'm just going to try and enjoy and do things just to push the envelope to see what, uh, what other things I can do. That's what this solo record is about. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's, it's pushing the envelope. It's like Boys and Men has done a lot of great things and we continue to hope to continue to do more. But, you know, we're like, what else can we do? Like, right. what what else is there out there? What 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 other people can I touch that I haven't yet? What what places have I gone that uh you know I haven't gone yet? So this is what this is all about. Yeah, and uh, where, when, and where could everyone get the the new album? All DSPs, digital streaming platforms. That's where we all buy records now. So yep. you know it's it's literally on your phone. Just go to iTunes. Go to Tidal, go to Spotify, go to Pandora, whatever that you listen to, and hit the button and listen to it, and, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Sean, do you have kids? I have three. 
Okay. What what do they think about your music and are they interested in following your footsteps? Um, uh, I don't know. Like my, my kids are like my 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 one son, he he's he was he started off into like, you know, plays and acting and singing and stuff like that. But then he turned into like a straight bookworm and now he's like a darn near straight A student, you know, doing his thing. So I think he went that way. But my my daughter, I think she yeah, she's She's a butterfly. She's she's <laughs> she's ready to go, and and she's always singing around the house, and she does her plays as well and stuff like that. And as far as me, I mean, they they don't they just I'm just dad. They don't they mm -hmm. don't you know they 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 enjoy the shows and they get into it and they have fun and they I think they I, I guess like how people react to to uh, to what I do, but I'm just I'm just dad. It's just that. You're just that to them, but yeah. you are Sean Stockman, the voice of men to all of us and the world over. We, we really appreciate you, Sean. Um, coming up next at three o'clock, we have Salt and Pepper. Hey! And at, <laughs> yeah. And Tell then at four o'clock, I certainly will. And at four o'clock, we have Jamel Hill stopping by for a conversation as well. This is the Black Press. This is our uh, annual convention week, 193 years of the Black Press. Uh, you can see all of the great convention uh, program at virtuenmpa2020.com. As we go out, as we take go home now, we're going to show you Sean Stockman's new video. Sean, you are a champ. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Thank you Absolutely. very much. Thank all of you guys. Thank you. Happy anniversary, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This ain't no ordinary love in any way. Cause through the good, through the bad times, through it all, I'll always stay Cause we make each other better Still in love, come what may It's amazing how you still hold me down After all of my mistakes And I wanna thank you For everything, oh everything you do for me You're so good for me for only you, the song I sing Cause all I do
Oh, that was absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Thanks again, Sean. Thank you guys. Be safe and uh, have a great one. Thank you very, very much. The same to you guys. Please be safe out there. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. God bless you all. And uh, hope to see you guys very, very soon. Absolutely. Have a good night. Yep, you too.